Enzio, congratulations. Another fantastic goal in front of the TV cameras. Yeah, thank you. Um, like the gaffes are safer for the TV, I, I think. Uh, no, it was um, F1 had a good game today, I think. And um, like those three points were very important because um, the teams around us, uh, they lost points. So that was a very good day. Talk us through the goal. Did it compare with the Barnet one for you or was it slightly different? Well, it was slightly different. Um, the Barnet one, I got it a little bit and this one was just like a shot on the goal. And yeah, I was lucky that it went in like that. So um, yeah, it's always good to score goals, you know, um, to be important like that. But um, yeah, I like to play my games like the Gaffe has um, put his trust in me that I can play every game and the one is going um, better than the other one but um, yes, I like playing and I like playing in this team and I think we can achieve great things. And it was an important goal as well in, in the sense of the, the overall game wasn't it because things could have been so different with the penalty just before half time and, and your goal really did change the game. Yeah um, like you said the, the penalty was, uh, was a good save from Ross and um, we were the better team in the first half. Uh, and um, we only missed the goal and we knew that at half time we were talking about it and um, yeah, as soon as you see my goal went in after that, um, yeah, we like to score two or three goals and it happened. Great to see Kyle Wooten back on the score sheet as well after signing permanently here, uh, I bet the lads are absolutely buzzing for him. Yeah, of course, like he works hard every week and he's so important um, to us and you see he's a good striker because he's seen my shot and he knew, um, <laughs> and he knew the keeper could drop um, could drop the ball and he was there, so yeah, very good goals for him. Just heard Richard Brindley giving you some stick there. You had to do the man of the match interview on the pitch. You had to do the man of the match interview in the uh, hospitality suites. Do you like all the attention on your Enzo, or would you rather be in your car on the way home now? Well, um, you know, I'm I'm not really with the attention, but um, I like to give credit to the team. You know, um, everyone did their bit today, and um, that I could be man of the match. So it's a great thing. Yeah. Congratulations, we'll pass you on to Lee Curtis. Uh, Enzo, you've scored some terrific goals this season. Um, I've got to ask you though, which one is your favourite? Which one is my favourite? Um, I, I personally think Woking, but... Yeah, like the way it went in, it was, um, was a great goal. But if you see today um, how important it was, this goal, um, here at home with the crowd and, and on TV, I think this is one of the, the better goals, yeah. So this one today is your favourite? Yeah, with all with all around with everything is my favourite. Yeah. Um, what did you make of the team's performance today, and what pleased you most about it? Um, I was pleased because we went early on in the game. We looked strong, you know. We, everyone looked like they were to win uh, this game, and um, like we were unfortunate with the penalty, but Ross turned up and um, yeah, he gave, gave gave us time to score a goal, you know, and, and win the game. So everyone was really on it and tried to win the game, especially because we knew. Um, the team surround us dropped point. Now you've obviously been moved back to the left hand side since Callum Roberts has come in. Is that your favourite side that you like to play on? Um, I think I'm. Uh, I don't mind playing on each uh, side, but I think I'm. I know more what to do when I'm on the right. You know, um, put crosses in and be unpredictable because on the left you go a bit to your stronger foot the whole time. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll play where the, where the manager wants me to play and um, yeah, do my bit for the team. Um, up to six in the table now. What do you think this team can achieve this season? Yeah, um, I don't think we we was drop stupid points. You know, like if we turn up like this every week, I know it's not going to be easy. But um, everyone's on the same page, and we know we have to push on until the end of the season. You can't drop points now. Um, do you think you can break ten goals this season? Would you like to? I would like to, but I've got um, a lot of assists as well this season, so um, both of them, you know, I'll be happy to do my bit for the team. And if we're in the playoffs, um, you know, I'll, stay, I'll happy to stay at se uh, seven goals now, or eight goals now. What gives you most satisfaction, scoring or creating? Well, the scoring feeling is better than, <laughs> <laughs> than the one creating, but like, uh, it's good to create goals as well, you know, but like the scoring feeling is the best, yeah. Um, obviously, Ross Fitzsimons came in today, made a great save for, from the penalty. What have the lads been around him like this week? Because he, he's had a, a weird two weeks, I would, I would say. Yeah, like um, last week when he, when he got called back, um, yeah, everyone was, was happy for him because, um, you know, it's not Sam, you know, um, he's injured, so it's not the best um, uh, time for him. But, like, everyone, we have a good squad and everyone was happy for Ross that he, can play now and show what he can do and you see today with also the save in the, in the second half like he's a good goalkeeper and we need everyone now. 
And what was the manager's message at half time when he got you back in at 0 0? What did he say? Um, you said, like, push on, you know, um, keep doing what you're doing because um, they, they're only good at one thing and um, we are playing football, so we make it hard for them and um, shot, shot some goal and, and test them and go for it. And that was the message from, from the manager. What was going through your mind when you picked that ball up in midfield? Was it just because you had passes on as well, didn't you? As well, yeah, yeah I had passes on, on the right and the left, but um, I think everyone knew that I was going to shoot from that uh, position. So, um, yeah, like if you don't shoot, you don't score, I, I always say. As one of the surviving members of last season, and it was a pretty dreadful season all round, if Knotts were to go back up to the Football League this year, what would it mean to you having experienced that dreadful campaign last year? Well, well, that would be everything, you know, I think for everyone here at the club because um, we're a big family uh, after all and everyone felt it when we went down last season and it would be like perfect for us to, to go straight up, you know, and like you said, it would, be, it would mean everything, yeah. And how much are you enjoying your time here? <laughs> yeah, well, I enjoy it very much. Um, like we have a good team, like the manager has put his faith in me and he believes in me and um, I think the supporters, well, not every week, but... Um, <laughs> I think they, they like me, so, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, I like my time here, yeah, definitely. Got a good chant for you, though. How, how, how much do you rate the chant? <laughs> Which one? I'm not going to sing it. But <laughs> <You're> <laughs> not gonna sing it. <laughs> I was going to wait hey, for it. <laughs> <see you. laughs> yeah, well, if I hear it, I, I actually like I want to clap every time I hear it. But, you, <laughs> you know, um, when you're playing the game, you have to, like, uh, let it go sometimes. But, like, I, I really appreciate it that everyone is uh, chanting and singing my name, yeah.